right, you may be seated. Uh, good morning. Thank you for continuing to be with us. I understand you've reached a verdict. Is that correct? Yes. And who was the uh, four person? Can you please identify your juror number? I am juror 69. Okay. All right. I will read the verdict into the record and uh, we will display it on the overhead. At the conclusion of reading the verdict into the record, I'll ask you if the what's displayed on the overhead accurately reflects your answers to each of the questions. All right. So final verdict. We, the jury, find first claim for relief, negligence. Question one, was the defendant negligent in one or more of the ways the plaintiffs claim as to the plaintiffs and the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below. Echo Mountain Fire Complex, yes. Sandy M. Canyon Fire, yes. South Oban Chain Fire, yes. 242 Fire, yes. Question two. Was the defendant's negligence a cause of harm to the plaintiffs within the boundaries of the fire areas below? Echo Mountain Complex Fire, yes. San Am Canyon Fire, yes. South Open Chain Fire, yes. And 242 Fire, yes. Question three, was the defendant's negligence a cause of harm to the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below. Echo Mountain Complex Fire, yes. San Am Canyon Fire, yes. South Open Chain Fire, yes. 242 Fire, yes. Second claim for relief, gross negligence. Question four. For each fire that you answered yes in response to question one, was the defendant grossly negligent in one or more of the ways the plaintiffs claim as to the plaintiffs and the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below? Echo Mountain Complex Fire, yes. San Am Canyon Fire, yes. South Oban Chain Fire, yes. 242 Fire, yes. Question five, was the defendant's gross negligence a cause of harm to the plaintiffs within the boundaries of the fire areas below? Echo Mountain Complex Fire, yes. San Am Canyon Fire, yes. South Oban Chain Fire, yes. 242 Fire, yes. Question six, was the defendant's gross negligence a cause of harm to the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below. Echo Mountain Complex Fire, yes. San Am Canyon Fire, yes. South Oban Chain Fire, yes. 242 Fire, yes. Additional class questions, question seven. Was the defendant's conduct reckless as to the plaintiffs and the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below. Echo Mountain Complex Fire, yes. San Am Canyon Fire, yes. South Oban Chain Fire, yes. 242 Fire, yes. Question eight, was the defendant's conduct willful as to the plaintiffs and the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below? Echo Mountain Complex Fire, yes. San Am Canyon Fire, yes. South Oban Chain Fire, yes. 242 Fire, yes. Third claim for relief, private nuisance, question nine. Did the defendant's conduct constitute a private nuisance as to the plaintiffs and the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below? 
Echo Mountain Complex fire, yes. Sandy Am Canyon fire, yes. South Oban Chain fire, yes. 242 fire, yes. Question 10, was the defendant's private nuisance a cause of harm to the plaintiffs within the boundaries of the fire areas below? Echo Mountain Complex fire, yes. Sandy Am Canyon fire, yes. South Oban Chain fire, yes. 242 fire, yes. Question 11, was the defendant's private nuisance a cause of harm to the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below? Echo Mountain Complex fire, yes. Sandy Am Canyon fire, yes. South Oban Chain fire, yes. 242 fire, yes. Fourth claim for relief, public nuisance, question 12. Did the defendant's conduct constitute a public nuisance as to the plaintiffs and the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below? Echo Mountain Complex fire, yes. Sandy Ann Canyon fire, yes. South Oban Chain fire, yes. 242 fire, yes. Question 13, was the defendant's public nuisance a cause of harm to the plaintiffs within the boundaries of the fire areas below? Echo Mountain Complex fire, yes. Sandy Am Canyon fire, yes. South Oban Chain fire, yes. 242 fire, yes. Question 14, was the defendant's public nuisance a cause of harm to the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below. Echo Mountain Complex fire, yes. Sandy Am Canyon fire, yes. South Oban Chain fire, yes. 242 fire, yes. Fifth claim for relief, trespass, question 15. Did the defendant's conduct constitute a trespass as to the plaintiffs and the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below. Echo Mountain Complex fire, yes. Sandy Am Canyon fire, yes. South Oban Chain fire, yes. 242 fire, yes. Question 16, was the defendant's trespass a cause of harm to the plaintiffs within the boundaries of the fire areas below? Echo Mountain Complex fire, yes. Sandy Am Canyon fire, yes. South Oban Chain fire, yes. 242 fire, yes. Question 17, was the defendant's trespass a cause of harm to the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below? Echo Mountain Complex fire, yes. Sandy Am Canyon fire, yes. South Oban Chain fire, yes. 242 fire, yes. Six claim for relief, inverse condemnation. Question 18, did the defendant's conduct constitute an intentional taking under authority of law referred to as inverse condemnation of the property or portions of the property of the plaintiffs and the entire class within the boundaries of the fire areas below? Echo Mountain Complex fire, no. Sandy Am Canyon fire, no. South Oban Chain fire, no. 242 fire, no. Question 19 was accordingly not answered, and question 20 was accordingly not answered. Class representative, class representative plaintiffs Individual damages. Question 21. What amount of economic damages, if any, do you award each of the following plaintiffs? Echo Mountain Complex Fire Area, James Holland. $404,884. Rachel McMaster. 
$147,160. Kevin Stockton, $96,521.50. Shereen Stockton, $96,521.50. Sandy Ann Canyon Fire Area. Robin Colbert, $19,654. Jane Drevo, $493,882. Sam Drevo, $85,295. Brooke Edge, $224,240. Bill Edge, $224,240. Lori Fowler, $35,412.60. Iris Hampton, $536,776. Janine James, $485,408.93. Christina Montoya, $119,004. Northwest River Guides LLC, $330,000. South Oban Chain Fire, Victor Palferman, $20,000. The Palferman Family Trust, $1 million. 242 Fire Area, Dwayne Brunn, $56,187. Question 22, what amount of non-economic damages, if any, do you award each of the following plaintiffs? Echo Mountain Complex Fire Area, James Holland, $4,500,000. Rachel McMaster, $4,500,000. Kevin Stockton, $4,500,000. Shereen Stockton, $3 million. Sandy, Sandy Ann Canyon Fire Area. Robin Colbert, $4,500,000. Jane Drevo, $4,500,000. Sam Drevo, $4,500,000. Brooke Edge, $4,500,000. Bill Edge, $4,500,000. Lori Fowler, $4,500,000. Iris Hampton, $4,500,000. Janine James, $4,500,000. Christina Montoya, $3 million. South Oban Chain Fire Area, Victor Palferman, $4,500,000. Palferman Family Trust, $4,500,000. 242 Fire Area, Dwayne Brunn, $3 million. Question three related to inverse condemnation is accordingly not answered. And the form is dated and signed by juror number 69. Okay, that um, concludes your verdict. Based on your responses, as you may recall from the first day of uh, jury selection, way back on April 24th, I indicated that depending on your responses, there may be an additional phase to um, the uh, jury service um, uh, that based on the responses uh, provided so far, we will move into that additional phase. Our plan is to move into that additional phase uh, this afternoon. I expect that it will um, take through tomorrow to complete that additional phase. And then we will similarly ask you to ask your assistance with some additional questions. Um, so I appreciate your continued uh, patience, your indulgence as we work through some of these issues. Uh, for now, I will ask that you 
um, break for lunch. I'll give you an extended lunch break today and ask that you return at 1 p.m. when I will give you further instructions regarding the additional phase. So you are uh, uh, free to leave the courthouse. Um, it's all the same rules apply. Um, please don't talk to anyone else uh, other than each other about um, your participation and jury service. I'll ask that you return at actually 1245 and we'll endeavor to resume at 1 p.m.